Good morning. Okay. So we are showcasing uh, one of our flagship houses today, the GE 68 with uh, 1,794 beautiful square feet. Uh, and it's the house to the right here. But before we do that, I want to draw your attention to two things. As you're shopping uh, in this industry, you won't see this very, well, you won't ever see this. And it's... Uh, unless you're solitaire and that's attic ventilation because there are real attics in these houses. It's just crucial if you're gonna build a house that's gonna be energy efficient in East Texas or anywhere in the South, you're gonna to have to have an attic. Uh, so that's critical and solitaire does that to great expense. And it's not, it's not an expense that gives you flashy countertops, flashy showers or anything like that. It's something you can't really see, but it's up there doing its job for the entire life of that home. The other thing you might notice are these outriggers that come all the way to the edge of the house. Now some of the, some of the time when you're shopping you'll notice the outriggers are, are a foot or two in so there's no support on the edge of that wall. Now if you look at this hitch, compare this hitch to other hitches, this is a 500 pound hitch. No one else in the industry needs or builds a 500 pound hitch. In fact most double section hitches, if you tried to pick up this home, would bend and break. Because my house, the house like this, around 80,000 pounds, uh, comparable house, is, uh, is around 45 or 50,000 pounds. And uh, when I say comparable, I mean a 28 by 64. So big, huge difference. Now this is the uh, frontal, frontal view. Notice your security lights on the corners, and then your four big picture, beautiful, gorgeous windows, your, your, your uh, upgraded uh, etched glass door. Notice your, uh, your little built-in porch, and also this porch uh, down here, this material under here is aluminum. It's aluminum tray in there, so it'll never rot. That's kind of a neat feature. So we come into the big open space of the GE. And notice right over here is your, uh, your, your coat closet. So nice little foyer entry here. And then your dining room. And of course, your uh, your big open living room, and then probably one of the most impressive features are the four windows, four big beautiful windows, with your little uh, sconce windows above, your real wood dowels, and your uh, curtain hangers, your canned lights, your above ceiling air ventilation your double pane low e glass windows all energy star rated something hard to find at this price point real wood uh, trim molding and half inch residential tape and textured sheetrock in every single room your extra large master bedroom Your really nice uh, French doors. Now, here's where some people beat us, and that's this shower is uh, is fiberglass. It's a one-piece fiberglass shower, but I can I can do a tiled shower. I can take that insert out, tile it up, and give you residential grade tile because that's that's where they beat us a little bit. See the the sanded and floated plywood subfloors. No one does that. The half inch tape and textured sheetrock throughout. Some people do it, but it's a big expense. And then the two by six walls that are standard. Most people don't offer or do that. The real attic space they don't do, can't offer. But the showers and the countertops is something that we can change out. And that's where we're a little weak. But you can't do it all. I mean, it's easy. That the stuff that we can change out, we leave it. And if you want to upgrade, we do. But the stuff you can never change, and that is your ceiling walls and floor. That's where we spend the uh, biggest portion of our funds. And there's your separate commode, your really nice closet, 
your residential shelving and your wood dowels. Uh, your lifetime steel faucets. Okay, and then we're back through the master. We're headed through this big, gorgeous living dining room area to this half bath. What a nice feature. This half bath with extra storage. Isn't that nice? And then, huge mud room with plenty of space for a freezer in there or over here. And then plenty of space for your, uh, your washer, your dryer, and a nice place to hang your clothes. This has the extra big bedroom. It's your second bedroom. And I, I didn't mean to say extra big bedroom. It's just a good size bedroom, but the extra big bath. That's what I meant to say. It's crazy. Look how nice that is. Two sinks in this big giant room here. And then you have a separate shower room with a huge shower tub combo. And your, this is your uh, your number three bedroom. So there you go with a brief tour of the really excellent GE 68. Thanks for watching.